But if you're a guy who has game, a confident dude, you can say whatever the fuck you want to say to a woman and she's going to respond to it differently because she sees you're a confident motherfucker. Click the link below and get your tickets to the Game Kings 2, the definition of a man documentary screening that's going to be held in Miami on October 26th, 2024. You'll be the first to watch the documentary, and then after the documentary, you'll be able to participate in a question and answer session with the Game Kings live. Space is limited, so click the link below and get your tickets now. Heard a YouTuber say if you validate women when approaching them, like saying you're beautiful, she will automatically look at you as below her. Is that true? No, it's not. It is not true at all. So. What happens is, it's not about you saying to a woman she's beautiful and, you know, uh, uh, complimenting her that makes her look at her at, look at you as below her, right? What happens is, is that women generally will think they're better than you when you don't have game. You understand what I'm saying? So meaning that if you approach a girl and you are nervous, right? You're a little insecure. You're you're worried about what she's gonna say and what she's gonna think. You're fumbling over your words because you're 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 too concerned about uh, uh, her response to you and all that other shit, right? That's the thing that's gonna make her feel that you are beneath her. But if you're a guy who has game, a confident dude, you can say whatever the fuck you want to say to a woman, and she's gonna respond to it differently because she sees you're a confident motherfucker. You feel what I'm saying? So, so what happens is it's like, so like this, like, let's say, for example, if a guy goes up to a girl, and he's like, um, Hey, um, hi, um, I'm sorry to bother you. Um, I just wanted to come over cause I, I thought you're really beautiful. And, um, I just wanted to say that I think you're really pretty and, um, I'm sorry, I'm nervous. Um, what's your name? Like if he comes like that, <laughs> then the girl is going to be like this goofy ass nigga. Because what happens is that energy is telling her this nigga, he's going to, if, if, if I was to give him pussy, he would call me 10 times a day. If I was to go out with him and then change my mind, he'd probably stalk me. You understand what I'm saying? If I was to even sleep with this guy, he'd probably be terrible in bed because I can tell based off his confidence in this situation, based off of how he's going in the situation that he is not the type of guy who believes in himself, right? So now, same situation where, uh, you know, a, a, a guy goes up to a woman, he could go up to the woman and say, hey, miss, how you doing? What's your name? Jennifer, Jennifer, nice to meet you. Listen, I came over here because I was checking you out in that dress and that shit turned me the fuck on. Listen, this is what we're gonna do. I'm going to need you to take your phone out. You're going to put my number in that and you're going to text me tonight at 7 p.m. And when I answer, I'm going to change your life. You see what I'm saying? Now, the guy came up to her and said she looks good and all that other shit, right? So, so you see what I mean? Like, if you're confident and you're having that interaction with the woman, right? That's the thing that makes her respond to you a certain way. I can take the dick off the table based upon my standard. You aren't going to get hold of this dick if you ain't being the woman I need you to be. You need to realize that you need to cook clean. You got to understand that you're not the only woman. And if you can accept that, that's fine. That's just the beginning because you got to work hard for me. Because I work hard for me. So that means if you if, if you get with me, it's not going to be easy street because I need to be satisfied because it ain't no happy wife, happy life bullshit. It's happy Steve, happy Steve. Being strong with self, understanding who you are, um, is the that is the biggest defense to bitch-ass weak men. And there's no excuses for the men not to be strong. But see, there's so many forces. And then so many men are embracing weakness. I can't stand weak men. Like, I don't even, I don't like to talk to them. It's hard for me to talk to these losers. I've always been a winner at the winner's table. You know, I believe it's a sin to impregnate a woman 
who can't raise a child, you know, or impregnate a woman who's not fit to be a mother. And I think we have a responsibility in what we see today in these weak ass little feminine boys. I can't tell another man what to do, but I can't dress feminine. I can't wear nail polish. It's just something that I can't do. Why? Because if I'm walking down the street and somebody's having trouble with a flat tire, I want them to feel that they can come to me and ask me, hey man, could you help me out with this? Because those are the type of things that a man will help out with. So I need to look like a man so they can know where to come for help. Yeah, it is such a thing as toxic masculinity in the minds of bitch ass motherfuckers. Talk about masculinity, assertiveness, authenticity, transparency. How can a guy who's straight up and honest with what he does be toxic? If the media can train you to think something bad about it, you hear the word and you want to instantly have a certain reaction. You stop thinking, you start feeling. And when people learn to think and feel and not think through their feelings, that's when they can evaluate a person holistically. And they can say, is this toxic masculinity or did I just hear something I didn't like? And why did I not like it? And they only let me go within myself to see why. I don't never look at no motherfucker and say, oh, that's a toxic masculine motherfucker. I never ever had, I didn't even know. That was an invented concept from a weak motherfucker that was like, I'm just tired of this motherfucker trying to tell me what to do and bully you over me with this bullshit. What's going to make you successful is just understanding who you are and getting your mind right and being happy with who you are. That is the thing that's going to really make you successful because after you get all the toys, after you get all these things going on, you've had sex with all the women you want to have sex with, you traveled all the places, you're still going to be you and you're going to always come back to you. Why do I do this? Why are we even doing this documentary? I'm trying to, I want guys to be in the best position possible. There's no way that I'm raising my voice or calling you a bitch ass nigga because I'm trying to hurt your feelings. I'm calling you a bitch ass nigga because you're doing bitch ass nigga shit. And if you continue doing bitch ass nigga shit, you're going to end up in bitch ass nigga situations. You get what I'm saying? So when I call you a bitch ass nigga, trust me, it's because I love you.